Whenever there is a murder mystery produced by Hindi cinema, I really get excited. For it is one of my favorite genres. Even though I think it is exhausting and terribly reductive to dismiss movies as knockoff of Knives Out, the moment they see the rich and influential figuring out who is the murderer in one location, because this premise has been done for decades across languages, especially the OG being the adaptations of Agatha Christie novels. This setup is something that can be executed in an extremely engaging manner, something that we have seen in a movie as old as Gumnam and as recent as Raat Akeli Hai. Murder Mubarak and Adam adaptation of Club You to Death written by Anuja Chauhan focuses on the rich and privileged class of the Royal Delhi Club that gets interrogated by ACP Bhavani Singh played by Pankaj Tripathi for a murder that takes place in the premises of their club. How the various eccentric personalities through the interrogation get exposed, each person being a dichotomy of what they project versus what their reality is, eventually narrowing down on who is the guilty party of this heinous crime forms the basic premise of Murder Mubarak. Here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch this movie on Netflix or not. The good. The absurdity of the rich and powerful. One of the questions that arises about movies that focus on the rich and powerful and get them trapped in investigations regarding a murder is why do these films only focus on characters of a specific elite class? And I think it's because of the hypocrisy of their existence and the ignorance with which they live life that creates a beautiful concoction of characters living in their ivory towers, almost oblivious to their surroundings. Anyone Bengali is referenced as a commie leftist. A man of royal lineage is found giving 20 rupee tips, boastful as if he's doing a favor for blue collar workers. A rich woman exclaims, Bichare farmers, while looking at the torrential rain outside. It's this societal conscientiousness trying to care about the environment and society while sipping their wines and entering the club in their luxury cars that creates this hilarious absurdity which is interesting to observe. The premises create segregation between the members and the blue-collar workers, much like societies today that have different lifts for domestic workers and residents. While a death has occurred, characters are more concerned about the calories that may be lost in the act of committing the grave crime, and this is where a character like Tiska Chopra especially shines, in all seriousness saying that poor people should die young. It accounts for probably the only funny moments from the film fleeting moments of brilliance. When I saw the trailer of this movie, I was mainly excited because of the star cast. It boasted of talents that I always love to see in stories, and I must confess that the makers do a terrible job in making full use of the talent at their disposal. The only characters who have a lasting impression as I previously mentioned include Tiska Chopra as a privileged yet ignorant middle-aged woman and Pankaj Tripathi as Bhavani Singh. Amused by the odd personality traits of the rich and powerful, Pankaj Tripathi has a constant grin throughout the film, finding it hilarious that the characters believe that they are two steps ahead of him. And this extracts several moments where you do also wonder who has control over the case. The members of the Royal Delhi Club trying to bamboozle him or our very own ACP. There are only fleeting moments of brilliance showcased otherwise. And the biggest crime that a crime thriller can commit is being a slog. And Murder Mubarak eventually turned out to become so exhausting, something that I just did not expect from a homie at Jania project. The underwhelming aspects. Too many characters and motivations. One of the main problems regarding Murder Mubarak is that there are simply too many characters with their own ulterior motives and subplots that have nothing to do with the case at hand. It is extremely naive of the makers to believe that we are going to care about each character and the filmmaker is adamant to extend their storylines till the climax only for it to reveal information that you couldn't care about. The biggest issue with a movie like this is that while the murder investigation is its core, the screenplay moves on to further developments, making you frustrated as you wanted more information about the bloody case that the film started with. The film like a headless chicken goes in several directions and the hilarious part is that some of these subplots are just not interesting. You have grave secrets, family lineage, obsessive love, stalking behavior, random affairs, odd jumps of timelines and flashbacks and all of it genuinely creates a khichdi rather than a viewing experience that consistently engages you. This probably has to be Dimple Kapadia's worst written role in a homie Adjania project 
and this is after a brilliant role like that in Sas Bahu or Flamingo. Speaking of which, absurd side quests and wasted talent. The problem also lies in the fact that the film is not a murder investigation or a who done it only, but it goes on side quests to become a love story as well that becomes extremely frustrating. See, most of the characters in the film are unemployed, so they become extremely obsessive about the case. But the manner in which Sara Ali Khan's character takes the reign of wanting to know more information on her own, independent of the police officers, borders on being absurd. You have access to CCTV footage, a break in in somebody's house while being a sorry attempt at the drug-induced Wolf of Wall Street escapade, these random ways in which characters just have free reign and access to confidential information and personal property is pretty hilarious. I still can't get over how terribly utilized Vijay Varma and Sohail Naya were in this film. I could only appreciate Sanjay Kapoor to a certain extent, projecting happiness and wealth when you very well know that there's more to his story. Sara Ali Khan again presents a performance that is clearly lacking of range and ability. You have an actor who is seemingly convincing in moments of subtlety and banter, but the moment Sara is in a dramatic scene where she really has to showcase her emotional range, she falters big time in scenes shared with Varun Mitra and Vijay Varma who are definitely on a league of their own. You can can see that the scenes have been chopped up also, each dialogue being delivered in a different cut than what was said just seconds ago. This is also another case of just the opportunity talents within the industry are handed over to consistently prove themselves and they will get more and more as the years go by even if they falter. The film eventually takes the shape of essentially becoming a khichdi. There are no two ways about it, neither being an investigative thriller that shocked me with its climax, nor a romantic love story that interested me or made my heart flutter. It was a case of the rich and powerful showcasing their absurdity that was fleetingly entertaining, but holistically, this film just did not pack the punch in being a zany, hilarious, dark thriller. The screenplay really took the shape of becoming a snooze fest and a slog. A grave crime to commit? in the genre of a crime thriller. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about Murder Mubarak. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.